first of its kind clinical trial at Stanford, focusing on treating coronavirus patients before they are hospitalized. KPIX 5's Andrea Nakano looks at how a drug could help patients recover faster and reduce their transmission of the virus. Until a vaccine is developed, researchers say this could be the next best thing since it could limit the spread of the highly contagious virus. I wish I had uh, an answer and I wish I could say that this is the magic bullet, um, but the short answer is we don't know yet. The trial is only in its 10th day, but researchers at Stanford Medicine have a reason to believe interferon lambda, which has been given to thousands for hepatitis viruses, could work for COVID-19. And it actually can stimulate our body's own immune defenses to try to get rid of the virus. That's how it appears to work in the laboratory and in animals. This is the first outpatient clinical trial being done at Stanford. Researchers say it's critical to develop a treatment plan for those that do not require hospitalization since upward of 80% are outpatients. This next phase of, of new therapies that can, that can help um, uh, um, individuals when they're at home um, um, is really, uh, I think, will really help us as we kind of embrace living with coronavirus over the next you know, several months. The trial is still looking for patients between the ages of 18 and 65 who were recently diagnosed with coronavirus. Patients can either have mild to moderate symptoms or not show any symptoms at all. But the key is, since the drug is believed to reduce viral shedding, it may limit the community spread of COVID-19. We want to find medicines that we can use for people once they have coronavirus to reduce the amount of symptoms that they have. And if they don't have symptoms, reduce the amount of time that they uh, are infectious to others. Researchers say this particular interferon, Lambda, has a localized effect on the lungs, so it reduces the side effects of the drug. Andrea Nakano, KPIX 5.